Welcome to Encouragement and Prayer. I'd like to thank you for watching and sharing these videos with your friends and your family that together we can be an encouragement to others. Today we're coming from Mark chapter 16. On the Sunday, three days after Jesus was crucified, three women went to the tomb to anoint the body of Jesus. But when they entered the tomb, they did not see Jesus there. there. Instead, they were greeted by an angel who told them that Jesus was not there, that he had risen. The angel gave a message to the, the women to be given to the, the disciples that Jesus was going to Galilee and that they would see him there just as they were told. It was Mary of Magdalene who told the disciples the message, but they did not believe her. Jesus appears to two disciples and they went and told the others. Again, they did not believe. Because of their unbelief, the leaven had to be rebuked by Jesus when, we, when he came to them. After the leaven being rebuked, Jesus tells them what they are to do. The disciples were to go into the world to telling everyone about the gospel and anyone who believes will be saved. This is also referred to as the Great Commission. Jesus does not give the call to the apostles only, but he calls them disciples. Anyone who believes and is saved is a disciple and is, and is called to preach the gospel message. As disciples go, as the disciples go out, the Lord works with them. We as disciples do not go alone. We go with the Lord. So go, go to your co-workers, your neighbors, your friends, your family. Live and preach the gospel. So let me uh, pray right now that everyone that is watching that if you have been saved that you will go and you preach the gospel as we ought to. Telling others the good news. Sharing with them letting them know how they too can have eternal life and be free from the bond, bondage of sin. That they can live a life of purity with a pure heart, having God's righteousness upon them to one day to living with Him forever having eternal life anyone that has not received Jesus as their personal Savior I pray right now that you will the pray the prayer of salvation that I will pray shortly and pray with me with a sincere heart accepting Jesus as Lord and God Confessing that you're a sinner and asking for forgiveness to turn away from evil and what God calls his sin. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to ask you if you've never received Jesus Christ, you never asked him to save you from your sins. I ask you to 
to pray with me pray with me right now the prayer of salvation with a sincere heart Heavenly Father I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory I thank you that you sent your son Jesus to pay the penalty for my sin I believe that he died on the cross for me I believe that you raised him from the dead I am sorry for my sins and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord master and Savior help me to love serve and obey you for the rest of my life in Jesus name Amen